Hi, this is Stephanie from albumcovertemplates.com. I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how I designed my cover with the ACT Textured Paisley Ribbon Blue Ice 2 template. Um, open the picture that you'd like. Use the uh, Move tool. Move the picture over. It's too big, so I'm going to make sure I have my... Uh, I have to move this over so you can see my layers, <clears throat> my picture layers chosen. Edit, free transform, hold the shift key down, and I'm going to put this over to the side. Sometimes I just put it up here, but I think I'm going to do something different and put it right about there. Now you can do um, view, show, grid so you can count squares to make sure it's exactly placed. Um, then hit enter to enter or return to get rid of your transformation lines. I'm going to select this tool, go on my background color, cover layer, and again use your show grid if you want it to be exact. I'm just eyeballing it for the purposes of this video. Now that I have that area selected and my background is highlighted, I'm choosing, um, let's see, image, adjustments, exposure. And what I'm doing is sliding the gamma slider. So this border is close to this. I'm making it more white, but not so white. If I slide it all the way over, it's white. But I want to leave it like this because I do want to see my uh, background through this border. So that looks good. I'm going to hit OK and click off it so now we just see the border now I'm going to go back to my picture layer and make a stroke or a border right here around the picture so for that edit stroke and again make sure your layer with the picture is chosen color this this color I chose I sucked it right out from my picture so you could suck any pick any color for your picture and I'm going to use this dark bluish gray hit OK and I'm going to go with a 22 pixel wide stroke. Make sure the inside is checked. And I'm going to do the opacity is 50. If you do 100% opacity, it's a bold stroke that you cannot see through. But I'm going to uh, do 50% opacity so you can see through just a bit. Now if I zoom in by uh, hitting Control plus on my Mac, you can see that um, you can see through this this border here that I just made. Okay, so now I'm just going to simply add some names. Uh, text layer. I'm going to go right here for my text. And I can make it any size I want. Let's try 18. And this is my beautiful bride, Wendy. And handsome groom, John. And uh, you can see that text is way too small, so I'm just going to highlight it, make it a little larger. And I have my Edwardian script text. You can use any style font you want. I'm going to go a little bit larger. I don't want 60. I can type in whatever number I want here. So I'm going to try 55. And I'm going to try 60. <laughs> okay. Um, now see, I have this blue guideline from White House Custom Color. It says, do not put anything past this line. So I do actually need to go smaller if this is how I'm doing my layout. And we'll go... I'll go... Well, I'll try 55. That was good. Okay. And my uh, select move tool, and I'm going to move this over. Now the text, I had uh, that color selected, so if I want to make that darker, I'm just going to select my text again, and I could, I could um, click on this tool and give myself a little bit darker for the names, okay? And it could be any color you want. I'm going to keep that, and then I'm ready to save it. So layer, merge down, layer, flatten image, and you could see my layers all go into one, and then you have to name it something else so you don't um, save over your time.